Uh, well, he, uh, I asked Steve to produce uh, a record that we did uh, in 2000 or 2001. The record was uh, Blackwater Park, it was called Blackwater Park, and it was uh, considered our, on a small scale, breakthrough record for us. <coughs> and uh, much thanks to, to his production. It was quite interesting to work with some, somebody that closely. We never had a producer who uh, we kind of let, we, we, act, we actually let him decide a few things on the record, you know. Uh, and before we only had producers to set the sounds and kind of, maybe you should do this and that, and it's like, you know, no big deal. But for Steven, we brought him in for the very reason of having, having him have an opinion about the music and make the music better. And also because I knew that he was, uh, he's very interested in, in uh, experimenting with sounds and that was something that we wanted to do with that record to fuck up the sounds a little bit, you know, instead of having the regular two guitars and drums and bass and vocals we made the guitar sound broken, made the guitar sound like a synthesizer or something like some like thunder from hell. Uh, so that was uh, quite, quite interesting, it was very interesting actually working with him on, on the Blackwood Park record and that uh, that collaboration um, uh, made us want to work together with him again, so we did another two records with him. We did the Damnation record and the Deliverance record, which was recorded at the same time. Especially the Damnation record was a, a mellow record, which I thought that Steve Wilson could really help us produce and help us to record. And uh, he played the keyboards on on, on that record. and. Uh, to this day, I still think it's one of our best records, I guess, the Damnation album. Well, Deliverance <laughs> is probably our worst. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was uh, very interesting working with him. Might work again, you know, maybe bring him in to produce an Opeth record or, or do something, something else together. And I think uh, I've discussed said before what, I'm, what I think makes them special, but I'm quite uh, quite uh, astonished that they're not, uh, they're quite quite a big band, but they should be like the biggest band in the world, I think, you know. Uh, I think anyone who's interested in music could definitely find something in Porcupine Tree stuff that they would, you know, that they would like, you know, it, it's not, you don't necessarily have to be into, to progressive rock or, or metal or that kind of stuff. It's just good music as far as I'm concerned. Um, and honest music, something that, you know, it's not so common anymore. Uh, I think they've been around for a long time, but I think they still write and record albums because they love music and they love to, to uh, write and produce music that's uh, special and out of the ordinary, you know, and uh, it's, uh, for me that's the only criteria I have for my own kind of music that I want to listen to these days, obviously in my past this could be questioned, <laughs> but uh, these days it's, uh, that's what I'm, I'm interested in, you know, honest music that comes from um, a wish to do something new, do something fresh. You know.